I didn't hear you come down. Would you like me to fix you some breakfast? Oh, it's not necessary. And neither is the ring. You only have to wear it in public. Why don't I get you a cup of tea? Uh, it's not too much trouble. Oh, of course not. Uh, would you like some help? Oh, uh, no thanks. You know, you make tea just the way I like it. Nice and strong. It's funny, but, uh... I remember I was working for the WSB on assignment in Africa. Nairobi, I think. Or was it Zanzibar? Oh, it doesn't matter. I kind of remember that the uh, code word there was T. Uh, I guess we've both lived a pretty high-tension life. And in high style. Doesn't it fit? What? The ring. Oh, it, it fits perfectly. How did you know my ring size? I'm observant. Don't you like it? Excuse me. Look, if you don't like it, I can have it returned. It's no problem. Robert. Yeah? It's the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. Oh. It's, it's exquisite. It's so expensive. That's exactly how it should be. It feels so awkward. For a wife to wear a wedding ring. Look, it's an age-old custom. For me to be wearing it. Look, we're married and you're my wife. You know what I mean. Look, I got you that ring so that you wouldn't feel embarrassed. I, I, I noticed how you were with Celia. I don't ever want you to go through that again simply because of our arrangement. I've had more than enough problems as it is. just shouldn't have spent so much money. I can't imagine you wearing anything that wasn't exquisite or expensive. But remember, simply because it's expensive doesn't demand a return. <laughs> 